Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm gonna try to do like a vlog style video for this video on my phone. Um, just to kind of catch you guys up. First of all, I want to start off by saying that I'm really sorry I haven't had a video up yet this week. I don't have an excuse. I've just been lazy and not motivated. Um, but you guys are freaking out and thank you guys so much for your support. Y'all wanted a video. I've been wanting to do a video. Like I said, I just have not been motivated um to do one but i thought that i would turn the camera on real quick and just kind of do like a vlog style video i may have some clips from tomorrow my friend and i are going to see stoney larue he's coming downtown for free because there's like a steak dinner and stuff and we decided to uh bail on the steak and go for stoney so we are going to be doing that um just real quick, a couple of things. Sorry if I keep covering up, covering up the camera. I'm not used to vlogging, obviously, on my phone. Um, So, real quick, I did get my camera. Shout out to Braylee. I got this on Saturday. Um, The reason I'm not using it right now, because you're probably like, why are you not using your camera right now, girl? Um, I have to get a battery for it, and they do not have them at Walmart. So, I've got to go to either Target or Best Buy to get a battery for it. Um, I also need to get a memory card and a tripod, so some things working in the behind the scenes on that little part of my life. So here's the camera that I got. It looks really nice. It's super cute and small, so I can't wait to use this. Once I get this up and going, I will be vlogging even more. Also, on another camera note, I put a camera on layaway. That I'm going to be getting for Christmas. So I will have that camera and then the camera that I'm going to get for Christmas as well. So I will not only have one camera but I will have two. So a lot more vlogging will be happening if anything exciting is going on. And then of course you know my usual beauty and style videos. So I just wanted to kind of fill y'all in on that. Um, also, sorry. Also I did get a... Um, a background at Hobby Lobby not too long ago for my videos so I got that like last week so I will be using that in a future video ignore my bed not being made I usually do that right when I wake up but I thought I would go ahead and just vlog for a few minutes um so I did get a background as well so a lot of things happening I got a background I got a camera I just need to get a tripod a memory card and a, and a battery and then, like I said, my other camera is on layaway, and I will be getting that for Christmas. And it's a really cute camera. It's, like, red, and it has a flip screen. It's, like, a Nikon, I believe. So, I'm super excited. I will probably use that one, although that would probably be easier to use for vlogging and then use the other one for other videos. I don't know. We'll see. I'll figure it out. And then I got this book that I borrowed from a friend. Whoops, sorry, wrong way. got this book that I borrowed from a friend. It's called Religious Confession, I'm sorry, Religious Confusion, Finding Clarity and Confidence and God's Purpose for Your Life by Lawrence Nestant. Lawrence Nestant. He preached at our conference we had last weekend and blew the roof off the place. He was so, so amazing. And I left there feeling just so productive and so inspired and just so ready to just kind of hit the ground running and start reading because I am not a reader. I do not like reading. I like reading aloud, but I do not like reading like book after book after book. I've never been that way. My mom is, she freaking loves reading. My pastor loves reading. I am just not a reader. I don't know what it is, but I'm hoping that I can start this book and finish it so I can give it back to Chevy um, before it's too late. She told me not to worry about it. She said there was no rush or anything, but I'm going to try to like get on that. I'm not gonna lie. I woke up this week ready to go. I was so ready to go when I went to bed on Sunday and then I woke up on Monday and you know heard about the Las Vegas tragedy and my heart kind of shattered into a million pieces. I mean as y'all know I'm a huge country music fan and so the fact that this happened at a country concert like could have been me. Like I could have seriously been at that concert and I'm just so thankful that I wasn't it's just such an awful awful thing for anyone to have to go through I mean you walk into that concert and you're just so ready to go even weeks and months before you're just so excited and you're just so pumped up and ready to go that you're just you know you're just 
you're ready to conquer the world because you're, you know, you're going to see all of your favorite artists and you're in Vegas of all places. You're in Vegas and you're just ready to have the time of your life. And then something like that happens and tragedy hits just in a split second and your whole life could be over. And I'm not saying that from like a morbid standpoint. I'm saying that from like a, you know, kind of turn of perspective. Like it just really kind of puts everything into perspective on how you know, short life really is, and I kind of woke up Monday, and I heard that, and it's just like, all I wanted to do was just sob, and, and just, you know, just hug all of those people who might have left that concert with or without a husband, with or without a friend, with or without a wife, or a fiance, or, or whatever they were to that person, whether it was a group of people, or, or just, solo. I mean, who knows? Like, that would be the worst thing ever to just have the time of your life one second and then be fighting for your life the next second. And I think, you know, too many times we get so caught up in just everyday life and we just get so caught up in like the here and now that we kind of just kind of lose sight of what's really going on around us and what's, you know, going on in the world because there's so much hate and negativity out there that it just, like, breaks my heart because you don't know what people are going through. Everyone has a story. Everyone has a season of their life that they're in or that they're leaving and that we just need to remember as Christians, it's our job to build each other up, not tear each other down. Like, it's our job to go out of the way to give that cashier, you know, a word of encouragement because it was a rough day at Walmart. I mean, I'm not saying that this is comparing to having a rough day at Walmart by any means. I'm just saying, like, we just really need to, like, switch our focus and take off our glasses and have our have our vision, you know, be kind of, you know, clear. Because our perspectives can get so easily skewed that it's ridiculous. And I'm the first one to admit, I'm not always a nice person. Like, I struggle with, you know, being mean to people for no reason. And I struggle with selfishness. And I struggle with, you know, all of these things. And I'm trying, you know, to be a better person. And I'm trying to, you know, lift others up around me and not tear them down. So we just need to remember that when times get hard... We just need to be thankful that we're alive and that we have a family and that we have friends, a husband, a wife, a kid, a kid, like kids. Like we just really need to just stand together in love and realize that that's what God wants us to do. God put us on this earth to stand in love and to kind of just, you know, do good for others, not just ourselves. Um... I was gonna like do like this big long spiel spiel on like what was going on in my heart during that time, but that's just kind of like a glimpse into it. I may do another video about that later on, but because you know we always need to hear that, but I'm not a preacher by any means, I'm just doing you know what God calls me to do. And if that's by lifting each other up, then dang it, I'm going to lift each other up. Because this world is a cruel, cruel place sometimes. And we need to just fight, make a stand, and love each other. And stand in agreement with that. Um, I'm praying so much, so hard for those victims and all of that horrible stuff that went on in Vegas. Like, I'm just praying, praying, praying this whole week. I've just been in prayer. I've just been kind of in meditation, asking God to give them peace and strength and guidance that they may need. Lord, heal them, Jesus. Lord, you know, kind of be, be their light in the start time and just take care of them. Because some of those people didn't leave that concert. Some of those people didn't leave that concert the way they entered that concert. I doubt anybody left happy. I mean, if someone did, obviously that's weird. But, I don't know. Just kind of bits and pieces on that. Um, as far as other videos, I'm thinking about doing a hair care routine, skin care routine video. Um, I might do a fall makeup look. Comment down below what kind of videos y'all want to see. It will be easier now that I have a camera. I will let you know when I get a battery for it um, and a memory card. 
so y'all will know like when I have it and what videos I can actually start filming because it's a lot harder to do routines and stuff with just my phone so once I get my my battery for my camera and all that I will let you guys know so um I'll be able to do routines and stuff. So my dog is currently laying on my floor in my room. She's so cute and so lazy. I would show you, but I don't know how to flip this. Why on iPhone can you not flip the camera in the video, in the middle of a video? If anybody knows how to do that, comment down below because I don't know how and it drives me crazy. Anyways, I'm gonna wrap this up so I'm not rambling and boring you guys to death. Um, like I said, I may include some concert footage right about here. Um, I hope you guys are having a great week. Thank you so much for watching. If you have not already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so I can add even more subscribers to my channel. Um, give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below what kind of videos y'all want to see or just any random comments you may or may not have. And um, I will see you guys next time. I love y'all to the moon and back.